The world's first flight simulator, the Link Trainer, hit the market in 1929, and aviation flight schools and the US Air Force couldn't have cared less. They were not interested in this newfangled way of training until 1934, when the Air Force got a contract from the federal government to deliver the mail by plane. And now they had to go up in all kinds of weather. And within a few weeks, almost a dozen pilots had been killed in crashes. That's when the Air Force remembered that there was this guy who had a trainer who could teach people to fly in bad weather without putting them at risk. And of course, the rest is history. Now, what does this have to do with us? So if you are trying to eat better and you are just hoping that when the weather gets rough, when you go to a party or a buffet or your family is eating differently than you are or you're going out to a restaurant and you're tired and hungry and stressed out and you're walking down the candy aisle in the supermarket, that's like sending those pilots up in really bad weather without having been trained. So just like they learned how to fly in bad weather with a flight simulator, you can learn how to deal with tough food conditions with a fight simulator. And the idea is that when you are faced with food that you would rather not eat, that it goes against your values, goals and priorities, but it's so damn tempting, you're in a fight. You're in a dogfight. You're in a fight through because every time you say no, to that food, you strengthen your willpower muscle, you strengthen your resolve, you strengthen your new identity. You vote for a new identity for yourself as someone who takes their health seriously. So instead of just walking into those situations, hoping for the best, being completely untrained, let's do some fight simulation right now. So think about the next time you are likely to be tempted and think about what the food is, where it will be, how it will be presented to you. Do you have to go get it? Will it be brought to you? Do you have to say yes? Or is there energy that you have to involve and expend in saying no to it? Put yourself there. Feel what you feel. See what you see. Hear what you hear. Feel the sensations in your body as you think about this food and practice in your mind preparing, rehearsing, saying no, thank you, walking away, choosing something else instead. Practice it, practice it over and over and over. And then when you are in the situation, when you're in the actual fight, you will have logged time in the fight simulator and you will know what to do and how to do it. And after a while, your muscle memory will kick in and you will simply begin acting in the real fight as you did in your mental simulation. All right, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, now is a great time to do so and ding the little bell so you get notified when there's a new video. Have a great day.